All right, guys, so let's have a look at alpha particle radiation in some detail. Um, here we have an alpha particle. It's this nice big one here. Uh, we see that it has a mass of four atomic units. Okay, and that's because it's got these two protons here and two neutrons. And when it moves, it moves at a speed of about 5% of the speed of light. And this is the symbol for alpha particle. Um, so, basically, it's a helium nucleide. Now, nucleide is just another word for a nucleus. Um, is a helium nucleide. Uh, and the conditions, this will be emitted when the nucleus is too heavy. So that is, Z is equal to or greater than 83. Um, the changes in this case, um, Z, which is the atomic number, is decreased by 2. So that's the number of protons as well. So protons are decreased by 2. The atomic mass is decreased by 4. You can see because you've got 2 protons, 2 neutrons. Um, and A is the atomic mass and Z is the atomic number. It's very low penetrative power, and that's because it is very big. So it is, tends to be stopped by paper. Um, it is a very high ionization potential. So that will um, cause a reaction to occur when it hits another atom. And it's very likely to do that. Um, and it is deflected by EMF. Now, EMF means electromagnetic fields, and it's always attracted to the negative plates. And you can see up here, because we've got this 2 plus in the end, because it's got no electrons, um, it's attracted to the negative plates. Um, so let's have a quick look at the example. Here we have radon, no, radium, uh, radium 226. So there's the atomic number, and there's the um, atomic mass. Now, as we can see, Z is equal to or greater than 83 at 88. So spontaneous emission will occur. And this means that radium is always radioactive. Um, and we see that we end up with um, 4 and 2 taken away. Now, this all needs to add up. So now over here we have radon, which is an atomic number of 86 because it's lost two protons. So 2 plus 86 gives you 88. And an atomic mass of 222 because it's lost 4 overall. So 4 plus 222 gives you 226. Um, so Z decreased, Z decreases by 2, A decreases by 4, and still unstable. So it's going to continue to um, decay. Now, what's cool about this is that that means it is, and this is your alpha, uh, this is your alpha particle over here. What this means is that it's actually um, a good way to lose mass fast. To lose your atomic mass really fast, alpha particles are excellent for that. All right, I'll see you later.